Hi everybody, my name is Zeb Wellborn, President of the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce. I'm here with Melissa today from TransTech. Uh, we want to highlight something that they were doing here in our local community. Uh, one of the things that they did recently, oh, I'm going to let her explain it, but they did something very cool for our community uh, to support local businesses and I kind of wanted to let her share that experience and then what she was able to do to help businesses here in the Chino area. Well, thank you so much. First of all, we want to say that it's our pleasure to be a proud member of the chamber and we are based out here in Chino. Um, our company was founded in 1989. I personally reside in Chino Hills, so very familiar with the area. And we started a first responders initiative recently and we really tried to brainstorm together with the team in terms of we know that there's a lot of businesses that have been impacted during COVID-19, especially the service industry, particularly the restaurants. And we wanted to find a way to really appreciate the first responders, but also support local businesses and to kind of bridge those two together. So we contacted the chamber and they recommended the wonderful restaurant of... Yeah, R&R &R Breakfast Spot. So we did another video like this recently yes. where we interviewed R&R &R Breakfast Spot. Transsex saw that video and then wanted to be able to support the restaurant. And then not only did they support the restaurant, but they took the food from the restaurant and... Delivered it to the police department. So we, we made a pretty big order at R&R &R Breakfast Spot. The owner, Rhonda, she's amazing. The staff there was incredible. The food is out of this world. And we were so fortunate to be able to make that order personally deliver it to the poli uh, Chino Police Department. And it was a big hit. And in fact, we're gonna order again from them for our staff here. So we wanna thank them. We wanna thank the Chino Police Department as well as the Chamber for this, I think, collaborative effort. And we're doing this first responders initiative throughout greater Los Angeles area. We provide services to over 50 agencies. So week by week, we're hitting up those cities and continuing this, you know, paying it forward act in those local communities. So really, really glad to be able to do that. Good, and that's great to hear. And that's something we really love to hear from our Chino Valley area. So we really appreciate that you guys are doing that, not just to support our first responders, but to support our businesses that are facing those unique challenges right now. I know that we talked about, uh, before we got in here, you guys you yourself has put in together some uh, procedures in place uh, that have kind of a, change your business a little bit. You want to talk about some of those? Absolutely. So we first, we have some staggered schedules, obviously. We are a corporate business where our normal regular business hours is Monday through Friday, eight to five. And what we've done is we've staggered people to work part-time at home, part-time in the office. So there is limited number of people in office spaces at a time. We've also encouraged our staff members to come at staggered times. So we don't have a number of people coming in exactly at the same time. And the biggest thing, which we're gonna show you later is, we have a thing called Hygiene. And what this is, is it's a robot essentially that when you walk into our business, it will detect if you're wearing a mask or not. And it will also tell you your temperature, so it speaks. So if you're wearing a mask, it will just take your temperature and it will say normal temperature is what we hope. Um, and then if you're not wearing a mask and you walk in, it will actually say no mask detected and it will alert you and you will be asked to step out of the office until you do have a mask. And it's a procedure that I think our team members feel really good about. We're really excited that we've implemented it in our office. Um, we have a few other office locations as well that we're implementing it. And so far it's been a great success and it's been a lot of fun actually. People have been playing with it a lot. <laughs> Well, cool. Well, hey, you know, I just want to highlight again, say thank you. Uh, one of the things that I think is extremely important uh, for us right now is, is to do two things, is to, to learn how to adjust our business to help adapt under the current situation uh, so that we are doing the right things, protecting our folks while also still conducting business, and then likewise supporting other members in our community as well. And so you guys are doing hitting, hitting out of the park on both oh, of those fronts. Thank so you. So we are thrilled to have you as part of the chamber and we appreciate what you guys thank are doing you. to bring our community together and support that. And uh, I know that R&R &R Breakfast Spot was really appreciative and I know that the Chino Police Department was also appreciative yeah. as well. So thank you. Thank you so much.